and I am back with a different game. And realistically, since I can probably get through this game a lot faster than the other one, well, actually, do I want to just do main quest today? Main quest stuff today? Or do... Oh. Uh, hold on. Let me just put this to an hour. And let's see where the night takes us. Or the evening takes us. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes, because I got Bailu. Ooh, a little while ago. All right, hold on. Messages. Bailu. Hello, Bailu. Yeah, where's it? Thank you, Miracle Doctor. Just doing my job. Jesus Christ, that is a... How did you type that fast? Breakfast bowl of puffer coat belly bliss soup. Two pieces of hash browns. A deep fried dough stick. One, one tail of grilled chicken drumstick meat. Lunch half a caddy of you know, white rice. A plate of granny shan's tofu. Two abs, a large cup of memorial delight. Dinner serving general grilled stone. Calf burger, surfing deep fried chicken wings, and two tails of yellow boulder cheese fries. If it remember to take your medicine according to time. Isn't this just a meal plan? Am I the healer or are you the healer? This food this is food therapy. I guarantee you'll be happy for an entire post treatment treatment and and people just don't have nightmares. Uh okay. Anyway, assignments. And two three four and then in actual gut actually hold on uh travel log since again i haven't done this yet and i haven't unlocked the full ability to do this yet since i can't do any of these i can't do any of these well i mean i did this but i haven't done any of these i've gotten these three i have not gotten these three yet I have not done any of these, which I need to do that, but I do want to end up just, uh, I should probably, hold on, where is, All right, natural guide, okay, so, well, no, 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 remember what you're trying to do. Trying to build all the characters you have available to you, and especially since you have Bailu now. Oh, wait, hold on. Bailu now, I should probably go, go to the Golden Calyx. Um, 508, 315, 152. Oh, absolutely, this one. Go to that. I need some materials from that. I should also probably. Actually, hold on. Let me just fit. No, not the bag. Oh, no, that was the right one. Not this one. Wait. Right, it's this. No, not. I, I am. So, it's assignments. Recall, yes. And it's. Hold on. Is it. 152 and 180. There we go. That's the right one. And so I already have plenty enough of those, and considering I'm doing these very regularly, I shouldn't have much need to... Anyway. Calyxes. Yep. Alright, second round. Yeah, I might just end up shortening this to a decent extent, since again, this is huge. Well, not shortening it, since again, I'm going to be going through this pretty quickly. I'm not sure what I am going to do. Done. Oh, I'm only using it some one. Okay. Okay. Bonk. Okay. And that should be good. And last fight. And done. He's done with this part where, hold on. 69, 202. 
Okay, now characters. Bailu, level up. Okay, descend. Go into that one. Challenge you, which physic oh, and quantum, so change way. Bonk. Okay, so now. One, two. Okay, that's another go. Alright, let's change tray once. Those who attack. Oh, well. You know what I gotta do? It's like, oh no, you're gonna be punished. Well, guess what? I don't have much other to do besides doing that. Okay, uh, yep. That's just gonna make you not do that. Yeah, that should be good. I can just do ult instead. So I can do Ching Tray to max. One, two, three, yep. Bonk. 10,000 damage. Yep. Those are your skills. Every time? Not every time. Just gonna do this, just in case. One, two, with the shield as well. It would be nicer if the Trailblazer shield is a bit, well, more. Because it is a bit... Well, since it is a bit weird to have a preservation character that's more towards damage, but not having that damage be integrated with how much shielding they put up, since it's less, since it's less, like, Yes, I know. All right, 50, 50, and here's another ticket. And then let's go, uh, let's go back to, let's go back, actually, hold on, I can just also do this. Let's go to the golden again, do like another full round. Actually, hold on, it's 30 per, so, Four is probably going to be best. <laughs> Wait, I had Ching Chu. Eh, it's okay. Yeah, it'll be okay. Because I could just do this. That's not that big of a deal. On top of the fact that. Yeah, it definitely is going to be a lot slower without Herda, but. But I mean, not that much slower. Two, three. Okay. Okay. Um, one. Okay. Oh, nearly. Oh, right, because Natasha was the person who did that. Or was the character that... Uh, yep, yeah, and there we go. Uh, ult with Sampo. Then what is probably going to happen is... Yeah. 
alt which you can trace, and so you can just do that. Right, that's an option to me. One and two. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, and then now let's level you up the rest of the way. Wow, that is just barely. Okay, and how about we do it from top to bottom? XT. Actually, no. I actually I have three characters that are level 50, and then the rest are 60. Then the top. Then the top 10 are 70. Yep, and I'm just gonna go back to here again. I don't even need to change the team all that much. I just actually hold on. Uh, oh, kind of forget that you're just able to restore and that you don't have to. Two. No. Oh my god. Done. Sometimes I think my keyboard just doesn't work, and it probably doesn't sometimes. That's not because of me, it's more or less because of the fact that... Okay. Bonk. Okay, that's a bit. Those who use basic attack will be punished. So let's just top everyone up. And then ult so I don't have to worry about it. Because thankfully when you weakness break you, I don't have to care about it. And it's not that big of a deal. Half health. Those you use skill shall be pun- oh, I don't care. Try to turn the heater down with this. One, two, there we go. Bonk. I'm always concerned that's going to happen every time, though I think almost every time I've come to this boss, I've found out that it's only the first skill that you do per turn. Or that it's only a per turn thing, not every instance of you using a skill regardless or not of it making the turn pass which is a bit of a mouthful and a, to say at the minimum okay ching tray and end them oh not quite but uh, this will do it bomb them bomb them to oblivion really I there we go jesus i thought th this is the whole reason why i'm having wait i need to do that again there we go you do that again because actually i'm just gonna have auto battle on so i can just start talking without thinking or at least not thinking about this because my count is absolutely strong enough to Oh my god, it's actually smart enough to do that. I remember so many times where it's just things that, ah oh yeah, I've used my skill a couple times, let's just ult before trying to dump all the skill points into this, then doing this, while I have two characters that are skill point negative. Again, that's because I have two characters that are skill point negative, but I still have another character that requires skill points, but regardless, it's not actually that bad I hope that it's gonna be okay I mean current plan is to try to keep all the characters that I have on par with each other I mean granted that means that I'm gonna have a hell of a time of since I'm already going into so much trouble with just level trying to level up the trait not traces but leveling up the character level without even taking into account traces Traces are going to be a whole other beast entirely. Because, I mean, with some of the characters I have leveled up the traces pretty well. 
but I mean how the four characters that you're looking at I'm pretty sure I've leveled up to the most that I can or at least to the max that I can level it up to all right Now then, let's get to this one. Come on. Let's get this over with. Yep, challenge that, which is physical, imaginary, and electric. Oh, sure, I'll take it. I forgot that I needed to, ha. Uh... And that's a shield on everyone. Honestly, a character that I probably want to get eventually would be Bronia, but that's if I don't get Bronia by the time I do 300 character bowls. I mean, if I don't get her by then, that's just obscene, obscenely bad luck. And if not, maybe Himiko? Eh, I don't actually know about that. Uh. Bonk. That did next to nothing. And this is... Oh. And that's the ult. Done. Yep, 7,000 damage. Okay, and that is six. If I'm not mistaken, I only needed five in total. Okay, and that is you. Oh, I need these. That should be two. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to get 34 of them, because why not? Uh, and then one of these, and then I'll pretty much be done with the resin. We don't have the resin to be consumed and tempo. Done. It's nice that you can just kind of sneak around while you need to get the whole thing of, oh no, I don't have all my skill point situation. Now let's just actually get everyone topped up as well. Because I don't want anyone dying in the first half of the fight. And that's you already having your weakness broken. Yep. This is pretty much the second half of the fight. Ah! That's one. I mean, I'll probably have three, four, five, and six, but it doesn't matter because I break your weakness. And that's just an infinite loop of this. I mean, pretty much the fight gets done, done and dealt with by the time this happens, by the fact that you die before you were able to even try to fire that off because I have weakness break. Just keep on happening before you can even try to do that. And this is the last. Yep, and that's the last one. Yep. Let's just check to see how many wishes I have just after that. Seller trade. 
239 plus 55. That is basically 299 wishes. No, 200. And, actually, that's 294 wishes. What else can I do? Oh, achievements. Glory of the Unyielding. Oh my god, a hundred times? You're, you need to... Oh, good god. Well, I mean, again, calyxes, that makes sense. Cavern of Corrosion to 400 makes sense. To 800 is going a bit absurd. Hold on. What? Two, three, four, five. Oh, Voyager. Voyage to the end of the sky, which is Memory Zancho, stage six. Yeah. Okay, so now. Oh. Okay, uh, I'm here. Oh, let's try to get caught up on the story. So, actually, hold on. What? How much time do I have left? I'm hoping I haven't had a lot of the time go away. Oh, I have 40 minutes. That's plenty. That's plenty to probably... I'm not sure actually how far along I'm going to be able to get into the story, but I'm going to be getting a fair bit into the story. Fair bit. I don't actually know how long. I'm hoping a decent... Oh, wait. Hold on. Um... Wait, that is something I need to get. Hold on. There's a merchant in Cienjo, Cienjo that literally offers... I feel like I'm going to regret buying all these this quick, but... Okay, so that reminds me. There's some Cienjo realtor that has... Not this one. Uh, Cloudford? Is it? No, it's not Cloudford. I think... Say, no. Hold on, artisan ship commit? No, where where is it? Uh, hold on, federal stair ship. Oh, it's a vending machine. No, I vending machine. So star all maps. Yeah, Joe. Um, Valia. No, exalting sanctum. No, it's not this. Our not our own. Not the divination artisan. Alchemy. No, I. Cloudford, hold on. Oh, it is in Cloudford. Okay, go to Cloudford to get a bunch of character materials for free. Well, not for free, but for just. Okay, and when is the next? I right, I'd like to purchase. Uh, unclean parcels and valuable parcels. How many times? Oh, it's a weekly buy, isn't it? Well, it's this, right? Oh, I have that. Anyway, use all three. Eh, that's okay. Uh, hold on. Oh, wait, hold on. And, yep. Uh, honestly, I'll do that one. I'll take care of the rest when I... I'll take care of the rest. Uh, well, not take care of the rest, but I'll use the rest when I'm leveling up the next character. Actually, hold on. Do I have... Well, I'd probably get on Abundant. Uh, Hands... I could just use this on preservation, so I just have all the use oath of steel. I might have regret that, but um, maybe not. I think it's twelve, right? Yes, twelve. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, actually, hold on. I don't even need to do this.
Yes. And let's check how much experience this is going to give. 69 of those. That's pretty good. Well, hold on. Uh, material synthesis. Let's check that. Can't do that. Okay, can't do anything of those. But I did basically just upgrade Trailblazer to a decent extent. Okay, so it's been about a half an hour. Oh. And the next thing, maybe to get a free Nihility light cone. Oh, actually, let me just do you. Nope, not there. Okay. Matrix dodging mother. There we go. Jesus, you annoying little thing. Road to Golden Hour. To the clocky statue with, with yep with the eyelashes or the paper crane thing How long are each of those episodes? Or is that metric just based off X amount of time over amount of things? Because I'm imagining there's probably like maybe demo clips or like, oh yeah, it's a two minute clip that got released for like a trailer. He looks cute. Watchmaker? Eh, well, I mean, again, this used to be a prison, so I'd hate to see the underbelly that he had. Or, under, hello, that's a bit of a, not like that, but I mean. What I meant to say was, I hate to see the dark side he had to inevitably have, or be able to gain, as much power he did just to conquer a prison, basically, since that's what you would have to do. Yep. Oh, excuse me. Yep. Eh, yeah, but... Aha! I know as this goes. You're gonna charge me a lot for taking a pig, aren't you? That your job is a tour guide. And that getting money for a company is a part of being a tour guide. It wouldn't surprise me. Oh god, I, I, I do find it kind of weird that it's just like, oh yes, we're going to all of a sudden introduce some serious voice. How many times does this happen in this story? A lot, I think. Eh. Right for help the cry is coming from Glocky's eyelashes. Huh. Begging to be pulled out, which feels a little too much like a dream. Yank. Hello. But weird to have an accent. Mm. 
it's also weird because this sounds like it's just fragmented bits of memories or just voice clips. There we go. Oh, probably because it's a bird I'm thinking of. That birds mimic voices and not other things. Hmm. Yeah. Perhaps you can meet it again there. See what see just what the, exactly the nice thing is. You didn't see it? You you said there was something on Do I want to see sound like a boomer, a psychopath, or just be completely blunt and honest? How about the psychopath, since I chose blunt and honest? So, psychopath it is. Hmm. Ah, yes, the origami bird. What is that? Oh, so it's literally just getting one of them's enough to. Yep. With the Inception City making up the background. Okay, that's weird how it's referring to that as a he. Is that the watchmaker? Everlasting peace should really be in quotes by the fact of how often crime comes up in this place because I've played through a lot of the side quests. Yep. Gaze into abyssal darkness. Suddenly an eye opens to the abyss. I'll meet it. This the case saves you as you chose to meet the abyss case. I close only dark in the telescope. New sticker obtained. Eye of the Dreamcatcher. Yep. Okay, you say a little. Okay, you said it was a little crowded, but I'm pretty sure there's less than like 20 people in this entire plaza. Eh. Okay, I do find it funny that let's just decide, ah, yes, let's have, let's make a religion for drinking soda to promote this very specific kind of soda. But I'm more curious what specifically commercial miracle means, though. Because that's... I have the audio off for the entire damn time for 
Oh, for over half the stream that I'm going to be uploading, I'm going to have shit. God damn it. Did you know? One of the ingredients in the original recipe for Susu juice, known as Dream Leaf, has gone extinct. That means the only place you can get a taste of Apocal Soul Glad is in Penacone's Dreamscape. Which is a bit interesting, because wouldn't that technically mean due to the fact that upholding a concept even amongst, like, a computer or machine that's directly input and exporting to human minds be warped to the point where, by all accounts, this the flavor that we keep on tasting probably isn't the same one, either. Uh, this is also the only place where one can fully experience the core values of syrupism. Do you have the Ten Commandments on you, or is that just a tourist trap? What are you looking at? Time waits for no one. Let me show you around. See these musical instruments playing themselves with no human performer in Penacone? Many objects and facilities have gained self-awareness due to the influence of the Memoria. After being tamed by the family, some of them form the Sweet Dreams troupe to provide entertainment for guests. Careful, though, sometimes these animated objects can be affected by dangerous emotions or memories and, uh, transform into the destructive Dream Jolt Troop. <laughs> if you ever run into them, go ask the security guards nearby for help. It's a bit concerning that we have... There's a ride attendant over there. Can you shut up for two minutes? Let it's me get a... some ID and tokens for you. With those, you'll be able to try any of the attractions here that you fancy. Please stop talking for a second. It's a bit concerning that you have things that basically can turn into monsters that can attack people in what is supposed to be a densely packed, packed plaza with... I don't think there are many security guards around. Alright, wait. Oh. Hello? Hello. Let's see where she feels so glad. Turns out it was just water. What a bummer. Sure. Let's go back to Young Master Gold and ask for some fruit, chirp. All dancey. You don't look so good. I mean, I'm just a little overexcited. It's a dream drinking so glad doesn't harm your body. Plus, I'm dancey, Golden Hour's most legendary party goer. You think about it fun and stuff to make, make enough to take me out? Tell, you can tell by my Pepeshi entourage that I am the biggest party goer around. There's no form of entertainment in Pentecone that I wouldn't dare try. If you're willing to become my fan, or my party partner, I'd be more precise. To be more precise, I can share my endless Ideen tokens with you, so you can play for your heart's content inside the dream. Oh, well, pretty tempting. Alright, I'll do it. Run we're right to die party partners. Come, drink this soul glass. Let's brace syrupism together. And let's just get the records, because why not? He's probably having, like, a Gatsby or Vegas. Mm. I'm just gonna do each of these one. Hi there! This is my friend's first vis- Of course! Right. Please show me your dream. Name. Here's your dreamscape pass and yep. tokens. Be sure to keep a good hold of them. Have a good time. Well, how many tokens are there? Ten. Ten. You may now enjoy the attractions in Panacone to the fullest. Thanks. <laughs> Let's try. Let's live it to the fullest. I'm going to be spending the minimum amounts on these because I know that the the machine in the very back. Let me see. Which one should we try first? Can I just go over here? Since this is your first time here, I say we start with the easiest games. The dreamy slots and lucky wheel are pretty straightforward. Can I just... Oh, no, I literally can't. Okay, and super big prize, prize, so... Let's just do... One. Oh. That was easy. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. 
Yep, let's see about the dream slot. Not playable, not playable. You know, if you have a bunch of decorative things, a bit... No, oh, I could play that. Let's see what I can get. This one, insert token. Big prize, okay. Let's see what this is. Yeah. Lost like this. Yeah, I like this. Okay, good. Alright, one. Yep. I'm gonna spend all of these so I can try to get that Nihil Eli code for free. It's a big prize. Big prize. Two. What's taking Firefly so long? Hmm. She's heading toward the bar. Eh, probably isn't nothing. Eh, let's see what this is. I want to be able to just. Alright, this is. Can I, at some point, be able to just do 10 at a time after I do, like... Eh, first prize. Just a prize. Come on. Yep. Let's see what else I can get. I wonder if there's a pity for this. Does that that looks a bit different. I've used up all the tokens. Time to meet Firefly. No, you haven't, because I bought ten others, because I knew I have played through this before. I have not gotten a super big prize yet. Nothing about that. Okay, come on, let's Oh, let me guess. I'm gonna insert two, and it's just gonna be ah yes. You can't actually do the five at a time. Light cone. Okay, prize. Okay. And let me guess. Five at a time. It's unlocked. No, actually, that's interesting. Now let's see what we get. Big prize. I have not even gotten a super big prize yet. Yes or no? Humongous prize. There has to be a pity on this. That's super big prize, so that's something. Eh. I am curious what the rates for this are. Considering if... How oh, is this? Eh. Now let's see. One last, well, two more times actually. Humongous prize. Come on, I want to get a light cone. I want to get a light cone for free, basically for free. Hmm. Not really anything. Okay, let's see if there's anything. Oh, okay, that's fine. 
I was going to be really concerned that I've already used up the entirety of the time. Anyway, that's it. Well, let's see. Tain, Residents and Dream Chasers, two rewards claimed once. The rest are provided by the family you have it in. The humongous prize can be claimed once, which includes this light cone and then this profile picture. Yeah. Okay, let's go all the way over here. Hello. Did you have fun? Pentagoni's golden hour is pretty amazing, isn't it? That feels like you had a gun to your head. Or you sound a bit sad I'm either way. Sad. It's just that this dream is so loving and forgiving. That does not sound like you're being honest. Fast and deep like an ocean. Even the humblest people can find solace here. That sounds true. <laughs> I really appreciate your help earlier today. That's why I took the chance to introduce this beautiful place to you. It was willing to accept me. Even though I didn't belong here. I've grown very fond of this place. And that makes me want to... <laughs> share it with others. And that sounds actually real. Are you really a stowaway? I... I'm a lawful resident. At least now I am. Okay. Can you stop looking Can behind my back? Closer. Close. Okay. Did you travel here alone? Uh... I am, at least for now. <laughs> I see. Yep. I'm not sure whether you realize it or not, but I took you through a very long scenic route and visited all kinds of places just now because. A main follow? Well, someone's been following you. Don't turn around. I'm certain that you're his target. He's been on our tail since we parted ways with Mr. Gallagher. Mm. I wondered whether he was a friend of yours, but my instincts told me he wasn't. He's now. about five feet, nine inches tall, give or take. Judging from his strong build, it's clear that he's well-trained. He walks in long strides, but his steps are light and barely audible. That way of walking doesn't leave footprints. <sighs> You know, the crazy part is that I'm about the same height as that. Which is kind of crazy, because whenever I look at these characters, I always think, like, ah, yes, all the guys are probably, like, six foot or something. Not, like, actually average height. He looks like a skilled fighter. The covert kind. He has large palms. Yet well, Sampo. Slender and nimble. I reckon he has experience using knives, like a short sword or a dagger. Yep. Do you know anybody like that? Maroon jacket, emerald eyes, dark blue hair. Ah, he's coming our way. Hey, Sampo. Hey, well, if it isn't my most loyal customer, the trail. It's been such a long time, old friend. Hi. What a coincidence to run into you here. Oh my, I'm in luck today. What brings you to here? To see me? <laughs> you know, it's thanks to you that I can be here. You helped your L06 open up to the outside. Yeah. Um, this. Oh, Miss March. Uh, this is Firefly. She's a tour guide. My name is Firefly? I'm a stage performer from the Iris family. Oh, no wonder. I was just thinking, it's my yeah. pleasure to meet you. My name is Sempo, and I'm an old pal of hers. Okay, again, this is fucking me up because, again, that's 5'9. This is, like, if that is 5'9. Every single other, so you're like five, what? Like, f hold on. Okay, what? You're like five, what? 
five. Five five, and I'm like maybe five nine as well. Uh, I either way, I'm getting hung up on that. Either way, since when did I acknowledge you as my friend? Oh, uh, don't be like that. You're making things awkward. That was a very forced sentence. Mr. Sampo, what's the purpose of your visit to Penacony? My purpose? <laughs> You're funny. What else can I do in Penacony? Well, I just hang around, daydream, and do the things that anyone on vacation would do. Eh. Speaking of which, old pal, since fate brings us here, I'm obliged to give you a tour of this area. Eh. I've been watching you two for a long time. Miss Firefly does know Penicone well, but when it comes to entertainment for grown-ups, I think I can do much better. Now, technically, I'm still like a toddler chronologically, right? Like probably the equivalent of like an adult, semi an adult, but I mean, I don't know. Entertainment for grown-ups? Eh. Looks like my analysis is spot on. <laughs> Follow me, you two. Let me give you a taste of the adult world. Hell of an introduction for you here to try to give me a recommendation. Oh, what is presumably, uh, oh, what is it called? A love hotel? A red light district within Las Vegas? Or space Las Vegas? Or space dream Las Vegas? That's what this is. By the way. Hold on, let's just check a couple of things. Yep. Anything bothering you, Miss Firefly? Don't worry. This isn't going to involve anything illegal. New sticker. And Bobby. Actually, hold on. No, oh, let's go to this. Dreamscape Pass. See, that never sleeps. You cash yourself a fortune, Uncle Kai. You just we can be friends. And let's see. Batch select. Golden hour can provide myri myriad and bountiful. Pleasures the golden hour can provide are myriad and bountiful. Ignoring when other, to when other such topics should be discussed on stage at all. But no pleasure can match the feeling of reuniting with old friends pulled by the color of undeniable blue. The implication he posts for you are... <sighs> Why'd it have to be him? Way and bash select. She used one, two... Why is the money pink? Anyway... It's kind of a cute detail that he, that clocky stops if you do this and you manually adjust it and that it's actually uh that's actually a music box it's also interesting that the stuff on the bottom moves forward regardless of which way you're doing it forward or back well forward or backward achievement fathom the unfathomable help one origami birds Anyway, damn, you're throwing up. Anyway, hello. Uh, it takes a long time to reach the other side on foot. How about we just bounce over there using the pinball machine? Eh. Pinball machine? She's not fully dangerous, yeah. Miss Firefly. We're in a be Come on, pal. Show it. Oh. Let's hop into here. Yep. It's just a little, which is activate, hold, activate, rotate, activate. Let's go. Bonk, bonk. Don't shake your soda. She even get. 
which is to use this for the first time. Yep. Is this the lower level of the commercial district? Bingo! Our destination is right there. Peppy Papeshi Salon. Pop. And this is no ordinary salon. The only guests allowed to enter are the Papeshi people, or those with VIP cards. Yep. But then again, nothing is too difficult for Beppo. Oh wait! Don't hit me. Okay, yeah, that you're you're an origami bird. Hello. What are you doing? It took me so late to find a way of flap flapping. Chirp. What are you doing? It took me so long to find a way to fly without flapping my wings. Chirp. This chubby is amazing. It won't come down after flying into the sky. I don't have to use up so much energy. Feels super comfy. Yep. Uh. Trying to chirp it. Chirp! Forget it. It's not too bad to rely on my own wings sometimes. Because that's how birds kind of sound if they're if they're trying to put together. It's either like going to be a sentence that you're going to have to put together with words or syllables. Hello. Here we are again, pal. Huh? Oh, it's you. You here to relax? Wait, Papeshi. You're a toddler. Right. I have Cotton two ball. friends here who want to come with you. Mm. How many? Three. Yep. Show me your VIP. No problem. I'm talking about your friends. Um, well, how can my... Can you make an exception and let them in? No, I can't break the rules. Please go home if you don't have the car. Okay. Well, seems like we can't go in. Uh, what should we do? Just stay cool. Let me think of... Okay, so we aren't going in any... The moment of betrayal. The cloud of doubt and everlasting hatred. Just mention the clown's items to Miss Thunderbolt. She'll understand what I mean. Okay. Wow. Just, just be patient. I'll explain everything when the time comes. I don't get this shirt. Like, is this even a shirt? Because this just looks like it's just the slats and maybe something around your shoulders and then this jacket just covers up the bits that are completely blank sure thing i'll deliver your message to her yep. here's the items you asked for uh, miss thunderbolt said these alone wouldn't be enough she wanted you to have these broken dreams she said do with them as you see fit okay miss thunderbolt is such a now we're only short of one item which we might be able to find in an arcade machine. Coincidentally, there's one at the salon entrance. Let's oh. get moving. I want to show you something fun. Okay. Let's get introduced to the other bit, which is again, moment of betrayal, cloud of doubt, everlasting hatred. Use master please never following advice and a mistress you never so that you have for you have forgiven them. Our lives are too short to be wasted on feuds. That spark had already begun, it had already been ignited long ago. You sit up, a cloud of sadness forming your mind. The words you've promised other. You know what? I'm, I'm wasting time at this point. I should probably just go ahead. Is that go over A TV? Yes, it is. Why was this TV dumped on the side of the road? <laughs> yep. I'm afraid you're mistaken, Miss Firefly. This is an arcade. This vibe machine has a sense of aesthetics worthy of the dreamscape. It's nothing like the techie junk you see around Punk Lord. The fact that there's a planet named Punk Lord. Was it named by a 13-year-old? A 14-year-old. Hey, how about you try touching it and see what happens? This is a trap. Well... This belongs to the family. How can there be...
touch it. What the hell? No oh, yeah, of course. Anyway, I'll just... Anyway, you take a deep breath, close your eyes, muster great courage. And with a resolve as witty as these three exclamation marks, you reach out the suspicious screen before you. Touch it! Little gremlin thing. Wait, what? Why did you turn into this thing? Eh. Gosh, you guys are tall. Your name is Hanau, a candid and tactic. Test turn? Test turn? Tactic turn? Tactic turn? Tactic turn? Tactic turn? Tactic turn? Tactic turn? turn? Your name is now a canon and taciturn figure, a lover of your hat and leader of the werewolves from the most famous long form cartoon, Glocky. You're almost the mascot of the Bloodhound family. That's cute. Guy Dove. And like, uh, this is 19 whatever the hell cartoon TV. That'd be like Jom and, Jom and Terry. Tom and Jerry. Suddenly protect. Oh my god, Yanni. According to your character's traits, you can only make a cool grunting noise as a response right now. You make an extremely cool grunt. Man, really, it was so cool. You look so cool. I'd say cute, if more of anything. I can't tell if you're trying to ha say that, if you're saying that to make me make more of a mess of myself so you can laugh more, or not. Which I suppose is kind of bre your bread and butter, so. Oh, how did you... Oh, 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 you don't get it, do you? Well, look! The title of this game is Hanu's Adventure. According to the plot synopsis, you have been shrunken down by one of Stone's devices. You will embark now, if you want to return to your normal size. You have to do everything. Her. Ooh, here it says, enter the door to start your adventure. You have to climb it. We'll cheer you on. <laughs> of course we will. Good luck. Yep. Oh. Well, I'm out. Very derpy and wobbly kind of like Ah uh, yes, I love being a Funko Pop. Oh, chest. Oh look how small you've become. You won't be able to escape this time. Well, tough for you, I'll just become I mean tough for you, I'll just literally Okay, but I Oh, come on. That's making contact, and I'd be able to fit through there. That's literally hitting through there. By the way... Let's see if I can get to the other side to get that treasure chest. Want... Oh, there's another treasure chest. Okay. Teleport. The top. Why, why am I pretending like I haven't played this before? I absolutely have played this before. Okay. Uh, well, no, I want to get over here to get the other chest that's right here. Because getting basic treasure. Actually, I need to turn back into this so I can... I don't actually know if that... I'm actually kind of curious if I got that on my main account. If I didn't, I'm going to feel really dumb. Hello, big treasure chest. Okay. Going all around, you fire yourself at the entrance of boss stone, mate. Right, I have something underneath the goddamn monitor cover I have on. Oh my god. Oh, emotion prototype. Momentary freedom. Hold. Oh, oh god. No, let me let me take a look at the. 
return to normal form. Let me look at... No, I'm going to look at this for... No, not let go. Hold on. It's a new... Hello. Eh, it's okay. Actually, hold on. Let me just spend the ticket before I forget about it again. Nothing. Oh, no, actually, not character trouble. A few details. How long ago did I get by like one wish? I, I literally, uh, that was too pity. Anyway, hello. You're back. All right. I'm glad to hear that. Yep. Look at that. You did great. This is the proverbial moment of freedom. You have earned it. Yep. Now that we've got everything we need, we just need to go into a dream. <gasps> yeah. Uh, hold on. Actually, I think... Oh, wait. Hold on. I... Oh, inc... Wait, what? Upon you, increase all allies max HP by 15 plus 100. That is really good. Hello. Either way, I'm probably just going to end the stream at this point because I've been streaming for a little over an hour. And I did want to keep both of the streams to an hour. So, either way, I'll... Thank you to anyone who decided to drop in and... Oh, and especially for YouTube, thank you for watching.